Todd Benzman from the Center for Immigration Studies capturing a number of videos from the Mexican side of our border that explain exactly how this is happening. The videos show a serious effort by the Mexican government, something we have not seen the last few years, to stop this flow. In this video, you see buses full of migrants being stopped by Mexican authorities. Other video shows Mexican border officers patrolling, looking out for any problems. The next one we have appears to show a number of migrant smuggling trucks commandeered by the Mexican government taken from the smugglers themselves. We have seen none of this for the last three years until very recently, and suddenly Mexico is beginning to behave as they did back when Trump was in the White House and we had a very quiet border for four years. And of course, there's no question this is all happening at the request of Joe Biden, who swore for three years that there was nothing that he could do. Just give me the power. I've asked for the very day I got in office. Give me the border patrol. Give me the people, give me the people, the judges. Give me the people who can stop this and make it work for us. It certainly is a crisis, and well, we don't bear responsibility for a broken system, and we're doing a tremendous amount within that broken system. But fundamentally, fundamentally, Congress is the only one who can fix it. The laws in our immigration system have been broken for a long time, and this administration has done everything it can under the law. All they do is lie. Anyone upset over our decreased quality of life or the paralyzing effect this invasion has had in our major cities, where these now fake asylum seekers all live, should be enraged by this and by Biden's outright ability to just lie right to our faces while causing a disaster. He never needed Congress to fix the system he intentionally broke. He screamed he wanted power. Of course, that's all he ever wants. He didn't need it. He just wanted it. And he knew it. Biden simply wanted to claim victory after fixing his own man-made immigration crisis. That's why they wanted that bill. Republican defiance to that Senate immigration bill was a nice middle finger to our duplicitous and destructive president. You can't destroy the country, pack your future voter rolls, and then expect Republicans to give you a political win. And cheers to Speaker Mike Johnson for blocking a rhino attempt to codify 5,000 illegals per day into law and somehow turn immigration into a political victory for the president who destroyed our sovereignty intentionally. As far as Mexico is concerned, it seems obvious that a deal was struck between Biden and Mexico's president. Here he was on 60 Minutes just a few weeks ago. President Biden called you. He sent his secretary of state. What did they say to you and what did they ask for from you? for us to try and contain the flow of migration. A month later, U.S. Customs and Border Patrol reported the number of migrant crossings dropped by 50 percent. Just that easy. A couple phone calls with Biden and the border's under control again. A dramatic drop. And 60 Minutes, of course, playing dumb because they want Joe Biden to win re-election. And ironically, the same president who said this while running for office. I would, in fact, make sure that there is, we immediately surge to the border. All those people are seeking asylum. They deserve to be heard. That's who we are. We're a nation that says if you want to flee and you're fleeing oppression, you should come. They deserve to be heard. That's who we are. That man is now demanding Mexico prevent Millions of asylum seekers from being heard at all. I thought they had the right to be heard. That's who we are, Joe Biden said. It's all just a game. They don't care about any of it, about migrants or the chaos, the expense they bring to American cities. They don't care about asylum seekers. They don't care about you, me, or anyone else. It's just power. And the president of Mexico has no interest in dealing with Donald Trump again for four more years, so he's playing along. And he also knows he can extort the Biden White House. See here. With the ear of the White House, President Lopez Obrador proposed his fix, that the United States commit $20 billion a year to poor countries in Latin America and the Caribbean. If they don't do the things that you've said need to be done, then what? The flow of migrants will continue.